I just finished Gen Con online, so I'm going to give you four interesting games, one from each day, to let you know my experience, and also, you should check it out. These are cool games. So the very first game that I played was with a GM, Robert. Thank you, Robert, if you're watching this video. And it was Starfinder, uh, Tarnished Legacy, Historia's Holdout. And basically the module is, I'm gonna give brief cliff notes, no spoilers. So if anybody wants to play any of these games, you can play them down the line. And pretty much it's you are going in investigating the building and you don't know what happened. You're supposed to go through. So you find out that you're in a trading module of some robot that popped up and then the robot's telling you, oh yeah, uh, ready to go Starfinders? And you're like, okay, what's happening here? And they start talking about things that had happened in the past that are no longer, uh, people who were in certain positions are gone. Everything that you're, you're like, oh yeah, that person's either doing a different position. It's a hundred years ago, so they're gone. And the robot's like, no, um, don't know what you're talking about. And then you start hearing and seeing the robot flickering and you're like, hmm, there's two different people in that robot trying to do different things. So one part of the robot is evil or trying to stop you from doing something. The other robot's trying to help you. And so you keep seeing flashes of different robots voices and stuff happening so you go through you are questioning if that robot is really going to help you because you don't know which one it is it's like on your shoulders good and evil and so you go through there's different puzzles different things to battle and just trying to finish the training module that the robot had created for you so i enjoyed it thank you robert thank you to all the people who played the game with me if you are watching i had a fun time it was a great module and I like that we were all at different levels, figuring out what's happening and a lot of interesting things that could go on with that module. So definitely check it out if you ever are at another convention and you see a Starfinder game and this one's playing. So the next game on the next day was from the GM Paul. Thank you, Paul, for running this game. It's Call of Cthulhu and it's called The Haunting. It's an old classic module. That I never got to try or play um, every time I would go conflicting schedules and so this one is basically again you have an older gentleman who is rich come in say hey you all need to investigate this house something's going on with it I'm trying to get it ready to do what I want to do with it either rent it out or you know just just have it ready for myself uh, the last tenants have left and I'm now acquiring it to do new things with it so he gives you a crisp $20 bill in 1920. That's a lot of money, just FYI. And so you're sent out to go try to get whatever's happening. So we enter the house and as usual, classic haunted house stuff. You see a bunch of Catholic stuff, saints and different, you know, symbols and crosses to ward off evil. And you're kind of getting a sketchy vibe immediately as you walk into the rooms. And then you start hearing footsteps and you're like, what is going on? So we start investigating the second floor because we're thinking that it's somebody's in there or it could be somebody playing a trick or an old tenant who doesn't want the building to get taken away from them. So I go up to the second floor with my other two fellow players who were a father and son. And if you're watching the video, you made it interesting and hilarious as well. Um, so we are looking around and as I look through a book, I roll a critical failure and it just plummets the <laughs> module into weird chaos and now every other thing that I'm doing I'm fighting them because I have basically checked out. I'm if anybody has played Call of Cthulhu before, if you critically fail on any role that is based on suggestion or seeing something that's not of this world, like a ghost or a demon or something like that, you have to roll for sanity or you have to roll whatever the check is. And a critical failure means you automatically have to either A, do what the suggestion is or possession or whatever is gonna happen, or B, you are done, you die. So I was like, well, it was nice knowing y'all. And sure enough, critically failed. And then after that, every roll, then I succeeded. 
<laughs> so I caused so much chaos in that module. <laughs> so uh, it was a fun time. I had a great time with it. I recommend this to anybody if you ever can play it. It's so much fun to see like what could happen. And uh, yeah, definitely chaos ensued. I'm I'm the chaos bringer in this one. So you need a test player. I will give you something you never thought about. <laughs> So on the next day, Saturday, I played another game that was interesting, and it was called For the Air, which was a homebrew game of For the Queen. Thank you to Lynette. If you are watching this, you made an amazing gameplay of something that was supposed to be, from what I was told by her, that it is basically the For the Queen is more romance narrative based, where you're more about relationships and different things like that, where this one is more about action and different things that could happen and I kind of like that better. I, I saw For the Queen and wasn't really intrigued by it just from all the stuff that I saw and this is a new take on it and I, I actually signed up for it because I thought it was going to be intriguing. So basically you uh, get cards and they ask open-ended questions like uh, why were you chosen for this journey with the Queen or the heir and basically it starts your role. You pick your role through that by the narrations of each card. And it could be bad or it could be good. It could be something like jealousy or something to do with along the lines of you really want to help the heir but you don't trust anybody else. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's like sitting around a campfire and you're all telling your story of how you became from where you were to now. Um, throughout the story we created we basically made it to where there was a war happening the new heir had to go through the journey to complete and become the rightful ruler of this land. And so you found out your role and then you say, well, yeah, uh, my city was attacked and my character had a scar and a purple haze, like a shiny haze around my eye. And that was intriguing to a lot of people. And so basically... You describe your character through the cards and then from there you describe what's going to happen. And I really like the ending. Basically in the ending is when you, after all you answer all these questions, you take so many rounds, you start the final battle, the journey. And the person who runs the game starts it off and then each person does a beat. So like the first person who was running the game will say, well, there was an ambush and the ambush led to this. What's going on next? And so then the next character was like, well, I've flew the heir to the throne immediately to save time. The other person said, I shield the person who's flying the heir to the throne. And I say, I give that person time who's shielding and protecting and shooting arrows and hand a shield to the person who does have nothing. And then the other next person said, well, I use my scooter to block the heir once the heir is at the throne. So that gives the heir time to get through everything. And it can end in a big climax where... You could have people do horrible things or good things based on what their cards say. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Lynette, for running an amazing game. I had a great time. And thank you to the players who helped make this narration really intriguing. I didn't think a card-based game could be with no dice and still make a very interesting game play out. And we asked each other questions and it was a lot of talking to where you got so inquisitive about each other and different things that I had a fun time with it. So definitely recommend For the Heir or For the Queen if you're more into romance and relationships. It's too interesting that you cannot say no. And the last day was a game from Anne. Anne was the GM and basically it was called Alice is Missing. Alice is Missing is also a card based game but this one is you get your characters when you draw the cards and then from there you get interesting characters from the story so you'll see what each person plays out and then from there you also get um, basically different locations that are in the story that's going to be for you and it's kind of like um, Clue or Life where you read the card and you have to do whatever the card tells you so when you get in there you'll see like um, who do you think could have done something to Alice? Why did Alice leave? Or what's happening? And it could end in different ways because each card is completely different. So each character gets a stack of cards and then 
at they're timed so you have 90 minutes total to finish the story and if you run out of time you don't find alice also if you do any cards you have to put them in the group chat everything is silent there is no talking once you are done debriefing you have to go into a chat only and you could have side chats it's very anxiety in a good way inducing to where you are stressed out because you're trying to have multiple chats you're trying to do whatever the card tells you so you're asking multiple questions different things going on and then from there you're trying to like keep everything happy and like you're trying to find alice so you don't know if she's dead or alive you don't know if somebody is holding her captive or somebody is doing something to her or she just had a bad day and she did something that you have to find her like what's going on so you each get your role started and you are flipping cards at the time that it says to flip the card um, we were playing through discord so it automatically just did our cards for us so we had to go through the group chat and be like okay so this is what happened this is what i found and i really enjoyed the game i had watched the stream and couldn't understand what was going on but once you play it it actually is very fun. It's one of those games where it's more fun to have it be played out and to even to the fact that you could die. I could die as a character in the game because something happened because a card flipped and you went to a location and all of a sudden it said, sorry, this is what happened. Because it doesn't end well in every scenario. Like you could have a moment where you're captured and nobody knows because you just go dead silent. You don't know what happened to that person and that's what's really cool and interesting because what if somebody's silent hello are you there you, nobody else knows where you went like you're wondering what happened are you still there uh nobody can, has anybody heard from so and so let, let, like let's go back and check oh i can't find anybody i don't know what happened so definitely worth a chance to try out i would recommend that it's for everybody to try it's an easier game for some people to play because you don't have to roleplay you don't have to talk so if you're not into talking a lot, you don't know how to role play, and you're more about texting, which is a lot of what's going on with 2020, then this is the game for you. And I know Anne did say that there's expansion packs happening soon, so I will definitely pick this up and try it out for sure. And if anybody else is wanting to check it out, I know there's people who have streamed this game before, and now I'm going to watch it even more because now that I understand the story, so I want to see what they do. And there you have it everybody, four interesting games that I have played a couple, but there was story modules that were really different and I wanted to recommend them to you. So let me know, did you go to Gen Con or Gen Con Online? Did you have a good time? And if you did play any games there, anything interesting happen? Let me know in the comments below, because I live for this shit. I enjoy it. I have a fun time with it. So thank you so much. If you like the content, please give it a like. If you are new, check out a few videos, and I'll catch y'all next time. Remember, roll your dice, grab your cards, and keep on gaming at any level, because we're all gamers, so bye everybody. Linda the Gamer Gal, she's here, she's playing games, Linda the Gamer Gal. She's here, she's playing games too